guys. Okay, we're going to continue with our Google drawing. So I did want to show you that um, I kind of moved on. I went and I drew my shape for the whites of my eye. I did the top shadow of my lip here, and I also did the um, dark shadows in the ear to help start to make that have a little bit more depth. Now, I can't do the colored part of my eye because it's too close to my whites of my eye, but don't worry, we will do that next. So the next thing I want to do is I want to group these all together. So I'm going to select on one of them and hold down shift. I'm going to select all these pieces. Okay, so once I have these pieces selected, then I can go ahead and I'm going to group them together by going to Arrange and then Group. All right, and now I'm going to back up just a little bit. I'm going to do the trick of bringing this to the front, but then I'm going to come back over here, click on these, and I'm going to bring these to the front. Oop. Okay, so now I'm going to drag, and as I drag, I'm going to hold down shift, and that helps keep them in a line, and it should help get me a little bit closer. Come on. Oop, it's not letting me zoom in. There we go. A little lag on the computer. So now I can kind of carefully decide, like, did I get this where it needs to go? I actually think I need to back it up to the right a little bit. So I'm carefully dragging. Remember when you do this, the more you zoom in, the more careful you can be while you drag. Okay, I'm pretty sure I got them where I wanted. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on the back picture and I'm gonna say send to back. All right, and so now we've got a little bit more detail happening. So I'm gonna go ahead and back out so you can see what I did. Okay, so you can see that we've started to develop a little bit more shape. Our character's getting a little bit more personality, okay? So this is when I would want to go back over to the left side of my screen. And I'm going to go ahead and, when it lets me zoom in, I'm gonna put it in the colored part of the eye. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and grab my polyline tool. Remember if yours is hiding, it's in this toolbar right here, polyline. And I'm gonna go ahead and grab the colored part. Ta-da, okay. I'm gonna go ahead and change the color to a dark brown. And I'm going to get rid of my line. And now when I start over here, it will save those settings. So I should only have to do the color once. Perfect. Okay. So um, I can go ahead and put in pupils if I draw right on top. I'm going to try to make... A circle as much as I can and you're probably like Mrs. Vance why wouldn't you just use the circle tool if you do I think what's gonna happen is it's gonna look too perfect nothing else is gonna be perfectly circular everything else is gonna have this sort of geometric feel to it so I think if you do it as a circle it's going to be a little little awkward a little much um, what I am gonna do is I am gonna kind of trace over the eyelash area um, which is that dark shadow because I do think that's important and we actually do want it to kind of go over that eye shape right there. Um, I'm actually gonna back out of this. So I'm gonna undo. Oop. I'm gonna start again, because I think I was just a little bit off from following the shadow. Because the shadow is actually really important in here. It's gonna help create the depth of the eye. Okay, and I'm gonna leave that black. I think that's fine. And so the reason why I can kind of do this right now, and while I didn't want you to do it before with the whites of the eye, is um, we're kind of going in order of like bottom to top. And we're treating these all kind of together so that they order the right way. Okay, so now I can go ahead and select these. So I'm gonna hold down shift. 
make sure I've got all of those selected. Go ahead and group them together. And now I'm going to slide these over. I don't think, I think I can line these up without the photo coming across. And well, bam, we're good to go. Yep, that looks pretty good to me. Um, we're gonna go ahead and back up and look at his eyes. All of a sudden, Daniel Levy is coming to life. He's looking great. All right, so I do think that um, our next step is to probably put in the glasses, and then I do think we need to do some work on his nose. His nose is really bothering me, but let's go ahead and put in his glasses next. And again, if you're getting the gist of this, you can go ahead and keep going on your project. But if you'd like to hear my sultry voice and watch the uh, tutorial, then you're more than welcome to. So I'm switching back to my poly line. I'm gonna zoom in a little bit more so I can get it perfect. Remember that you can scroll while you're working in your polyline as long as you're not clicking. It works just fine. So I'm doing a two finger scroll. And everybody's trackpad is set up a little differently. So how you scroll is gonna be directly correlated to how you set up your trackpad. Okay, so I'm working my way around the glasses. And the one thing I haven't thought about yet is this is gonna make a complete shape, but I'm gonna have to cut out some things. So that will be a challenge that I kind of didn't think about, but it'll be a good example to show you. Scrolling down. So I'm gonna get the whole exterior of the glasses done. And this side's a nice straight line, so that should be easy. And then trace around the ear. But I am. All right, so now it's going to look like he's got sunglasses. That's sort of hilarious. All right, we're going to go ahead and color them. Okay, so here's where we have to do a little bit of work, I think. So I got to figure out if I can cut out a shape. So I'm going to just test this right now by coming in here. So I'm gonna just do it really fast. Okay, so there's my shape. Okay, so if I make it transparent, that doesn't work. So um, I will get back to you. I'm gonna figure out how to cut this out. So I'm gonna pause my recording and then we will make this happen. Okay guys, so actually um, I did a little research and because Google Drawing is a bit rudimentary, um, a bit simple, that means that I can't do what I just did. So once I close a shape, I can't cut anything out of it really. I can adjust points, but I can't cut this out of the other layer. It's just not a smart enough program to do that. So that's fine. So I'm gonna go ahead and undo what I just did and show you like if you have something like this where you have glasses or you have a shape where you need to have another shape cut out of it, you're gonna have to work in segments, okay? So I'm gonna have to switch back to my poly line and I'm gonna zoom in and I'm just gonna work in segments. So I'm going to do kind of this segment over here first. I'm gonna do the arm of the glasses on this side. Keep going. So as long as I don't need to cut out the main shape, then I can do this. So what I'm gonna do is do this whole, let's see. I'm gonna go to like here. And make this whole piece of shape. Okay, so 
I can go ahead and adjust this, adjust this. I'm gonna go back to the color. And I'm gonna make a different color. It's just too red. Okay, so here's what I'm gonna do. Um, I'm going to do a piece here and then I'm gonna overlay other pieces and then I will move them all together. So I'm gonna go ahead and pause the recording again and then I'll meet back up with you when I get that done. Okay, so I went in and was able to put it into smaller pieces. So I'll make sure I grab everything. Okay, that looks good. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to group this together and then I'm going to zoom out. I'm gonna hold down shift and then I'm gonna drag, Oop, I don't wanna just drag that one, I wanna do the whole thing. So let's see here, there we go. All right, and now I'm gonna zoom in, scroll over, and I'm gonna make sure that this lines up with the top of the ear and the bridge of the nose. And I think we are about right. I'm a little too far over that way. Okay, that looks good. All right. So today, um, I would like you to keep working on adding pieces. So my next step will be to work on adding like some of the shadows in the nose. And I think I also might go in and start blocking in the bearded area. And then our last step will just be to look for color changes, um, highlights, shadows, to um, make some things come to life, add a little bit more depth to the, the shirt as well. Hopefully you're doing well. Make sure you contact me if you need help. And rock on, everybody. Good job.